Okay, something else we can do with the Vivid Light brush is we can sample a color. Let's grab our eyedropper tool here and grab our eyedropper tool here and let's pick out uh, just part of this blue here. Let's maybe maybe that dark blue right there. Um, so what we now have is we have our blue sample right there. Let's go back and get our vivid light. If we wanted to change that blue a little bit, if we wanted to make it a little lighter, we could bring it up here maybe. Click on OK. Now we could probably bump up our opacity maybe to eh, let's put up to 20 percent. Make a big difference so you can see it. I usually wouldn't go this high all at once, but for now that's okay. I uh, see the jeans the color the way they are now. But as I paint over it with the Vivid Light brush at 20% with this blue right here, you can see how it really brings out a lot of blue in the pants. And this is just one click and I'm kind of painting with this one single stroke over the pants here. If I were to let go and click again, it would really, really, really bring out that blue. Get, get a big change here. So, go back. And jeans are kind of dull. Now they're really blue. Probably more blue than we would want, but actually it is more blue than we want. Let's just go with uh, with one of those passes. That one's a little bit too much. I think we'll, we'll just go with that one. Uh, we can do the same thing with our background. Uh, we got a nice color in the background there, but if we wanted to change it a little bit, let's say we actually wanted to change it to... Uh, yeah, we're not going to, but if we wanted to change it to green, we can go ahead and open that up a little bit more, paint over it, and we're going to change all them highlighted parts, add some green in there. And I'm not crazy about the way that looks, so we're going to we're going to undo that. But we'll go ahead and actually grab a color that's close to what we want there. That's uh, that's like a red. Let's bring it up there. And we do this, we kind of enhance the amount of that red that's in there. And yes, this will bleed on to our subject if we're not careful. If we do that, it'll, it'll get on her, so we don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, kind of a little bit on the outside to kind of enhance that background a little bit more. Uh, you could also use, you don't have to use the Vivid Light brush for this, you could also use the Overlay. Um, overlay does something very similar. Uh, let's go ahead and do maybe the purple there. And it's going to give you more contrast and more saturation when you're using the Overlay brush. And we're kind of really getting out of hand now. But let's put it back on there. That's, that's all right there. That's not too bad. I think we're okay with that. Um, yeah, so either the overlay brush or the vivid light brush are both uh, both good for enhancing, saturating, uh, bringing out more detail. You know, when we went over the hair with the white vivid light brush, um, it enhanced the contrast of the hair, almost like sharpening the hair, uh, making each individual hair stand out. Uh, that's a neat little trick I, I learned from a friend of mine way back and uh, I use it in almost every one of my pictures now both with the hair and if the face needs to be brightened up a little bit I'll brighten it up. Uh, also you see our jeans down here. Jeans are really popping right now so some people may say it's a bit much for what you want to do but uh, I always like a lot of color in my pictures so I'll leave it at that. Okay I don't think we're going to do too much more. Uh, with this. What I am going to do though, I'm going to do uh, something that I have. It's, it's, a, it's a standalone filter. Uh, most people do not have it um, and most people have other ways of, of doing this uh, but I'm going to do some skin softening. Um, I've got a program called Noise Ninja. It is here under my filter under picture code and Noise Ninja. Um, it's very good at uh, getting rid of uh, noise that's in a picture but um, a lot of us have also found that it's very good for skin softening. Now it can be overused. It definitely can be overused and and, and make your sub look like a, like a Barbie doll, like plastic skin. 
and you really don't want to go that far with it. Uh, I'm going to cancel this here. Um, so what I like to do, what my action does now, uh, my action is going to create a second layer. Uh, it's going to put a filter of Noise Ninja on my entire picture, and then it's going to give me a background mask so I can mask out basically everything except the skin. Um, so let's go ahead and run this action real quick. It's going to run through a couple steps. Okay, now you see I'll kind of do it before and after. This is with Noise Ninja. That's without. So you really see a lot of detail uh, everywhere with uh, without Noise Ninja. You click on Noise Ninja. kind of makes everything look plastic. So um, I've got uh, my mask there. I'm going to grab a black brush. Uh, that's probably too big. Let's shrink that down a little bit. And I'm just going to mask out. Just I'm just coloring black on everything I don't want it on. And that is basically everything but the skin. Um, I don't have to be too precise here because I'm also going to lower the opacity of it. Um, but uh, yeah, everything that uh, that Noise Ninja is touching right now, it's going to soften up. So I want to make sure I get it off of there. And that ought to do it, I think. And, and most of it is done, it looks like. But again, we don't have to be real precise, it's just the stuff that we want to have detail, make sure we have detail there. And I'm going to shrink way down and just make sure we get the eyes. There we go. Come back up and make sure we got all the hair. Okay, so we now have. A very very soft plastic skin and some people like it that way I'm personally not crazy about it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my opacity and again you're not going to be able to see it real well on, on, on the video here but what I am doing is I'm going to lower the opacity you can zoom in a little bit more I'm going to lower the opacity until I start seeing some detail in the skin and that usually happens around 60% or so she's got really smooth skin anyway so I don't need a lot I can probably go down to 50% here and I'm just starting to see some detail on the skin so I'm gonna stop right there so by allowing some detail to come through um, you're allowing uh, the good uh, the good characteristics of the skin I mean there is some detail to the skin that doesn't look plastic yet it is softened up very nicely so we're gonna leave our Noise Ninja at 50%. It's masked out pretty good. And then we're going to go ahead and flatten the image to give us one layer over here again. Alright, and I think we're going to do some final steps in the very last video for this.